Hi everyone, this is Pastor Dan with this week's Pastor's Devotional. In Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 uh, to chapter 4 verse 5, here is what the Apostle Paul writes about our identity and unity in Christ as Christ followers. I'd like to just read the first four verses initially, chapter 3 verses 26 to 29. So in Christ Jesus... You are all children of God through faith, for all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. There are lots of different things that we can base our identity on. Many of us may recall the years of middle school and high school and all the different kinds of groups that form there depending on the interests and abilities of the students. Uh, the groups and activities might have been based on what sports were played or activities like music or arts and theater programs were followed or particular interests that students might have like environmental care or human rights issues. In those years, in answering the question, who am I? Students might look to these different kinds of interests and activities as what sets them apart from everyone else and their unique identity. At later stages in life, some might answer the question about uh, their identity based on their talents in their job or their career, their family relationships, or where they were born, or where they went to college, and in all these ways makes them distinct from other people as well. Well, here in Galatians, Paul lists off some other ways in which people identify themselves or identify others, categories such as male or female, slave or free, Jew or Gentile, which is to say their parents and family uh, worshiping the God of Israel or other gods or no gods at all. What Paul is saying here is that when you answer the question, who am I really? These other aspects of what make us unique are not nearly as important as this one foundational quality or attribute. When it comes to our basic identity, there is one aspect of us that needs to come first before all the others. That is, are we found to be in Jesus Christ through faith? The most important thing we can say about ourselves is about what we believe in God and what that relationship is like. If we answer this question about identity with a positive response about faith in Jesus Christ, according to Paul, we who are different in all these other ways are actually one in Christ through faith and share in the righteousness of Christ as is represented in the phrase clothed with Christ. A.W. Tozer said this, what comes into our minds when we think about God is the most important thing about us. Worship is pure or base as the worshiper entertains high or low thoughts of God. For this reason, the gravest question before the church is always God himself, and the most portentous fact about any man is not what he at a given time may say or do, but what he in his deep heart conceives God to be like. Being found in Christ by faith and being clothed in Christ is the most important thing we can say about us. For according to Paul, we are then heirs, heirs with an an inheritance as children of God that is to come. And that is how God sees us as children of God, one people, all wearing the same clothing that is the righteousness of Christ received by grace through faith. Paul goes on to say in chapters 4 verses 1 through 5, what I am saying is this, that as long as an heir is, is under age, he is no different from a slave, although he owns the whole estate. The heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. 
so also when we were underage, we were in slavery under the elemental spiritual forces of the world. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship and within the family of God. We have an inheritance, friends. We are adopted into the family of God through faith in Christ. When we ask ourselves, who am I really? It is a great question. I believe at some level, we feel it deep down in our gut, one that each of us has to answer. When we place our faith in Christ, the biggest part of our identity has already been answered. We are children of God, heirs with an inheritance, according to the promise of God, regardless of who our parents are, what our background is. If we have received Christ through faith, that is our foundational uh, center for our identity, where all of these other things that make us unique compared to others, it is, um, it is on top of that foundation uh, rather than below it. We start with uh, being children of God and having value for that, for not what we're good at, not how much money we have or are able to make, how much prestige we may have in the community, uh, what is foundational, what is most important is that we are children of God through faith in Christ and his righteousness that clothes us is salvation in God that is eternal and abundant and true. May God bless you all this week as you live throughout your day and throughout your week knowing that as a child of God, at your core, that is your foundation. That is your foundational identity. May God bless you in all you do and all the people you meet and share the love and grace of God as best you can. God's peace be with you.